There are some extremely difficult decisions looming for the San Francisco 49ers as they get prepared to cut their 90-man roster down to 53 before week one. There are some very, very difficult decisions to be made, and we are going to make those decisions right now. But first, this video is brought to you by Autograph. Being a fan is a full-time job, so Autograph does the heavy lifting for you. From tickets for big matchups to breaking news, the Autograph app has curated content for fans of all things San Francisco 49ers. And the new replay feature lets you get the day's news without the noise for when you need to be up to speed prior to starting your day. All the podcast articles and game predictions you could ever want in one place. It's time to feed your fandom with the Autograph app. Use the code SF9ers to download the Autograph app today telling you guys check out that autograph app you get rewarded for just looking and ingesting all the content that you normally do link in the description below to this video but let's talk about the final 53 man roster and who i believe is going to make it so let's start on the defensive side and we're going to work our way up to the offense so when we look at the defense I think we understand what it is. There's going to be a situation where we already know Drake Jackson is on injured reserve. We know Austin Bryant is on injured reserve. Currently, Drake Greenlaw and Talanoa Hufunga are on the PUP. I expect Drake Greenlaw to remain on the PUP, and I expect Talanoa Hufunga to be activated before the season. So, Dre won't count against the roster. Talanoa Hufunga will. So, I have four safeties making it jair brown talano hufanga george odom and malik mustafa obviously the rookie malik mustafa has played really well early on throughout training camp and preseason and i do believe that he will likely lock down a final roster spot especially being a fourth round draft pick when we look at the cornerbacks this is where we have a definite battle for the last spot of this cornerback room, I have the 49ers keeping six cornerbacks. Charvarius Ward, Isaac Yadam, Diamador Lenore, Renardo Green, Daryl Luter, and I think this is where the battle begins. I think it is between Samuel Womack and Rock Sin, but I think Rock Yassin, being the veteran that he, had, he is, has really shown some consistency. So this is a, a challenge, right? You drafted Samuel Womack. Rocky sends a free agent off the streets. Who do you think you could get back onto the roster? Who do you think would potentially get poached? This is where that question comes into play. If you're looking at it for who's played better, I would say Rocky Sin has probably won that battle early on. But again, you have to ask the question, will Samuel Womack clear waivers to be able to be on the practice squad? We do know Ambry Thomas. Uh, has the broken forearm, so his season is likely done with the San Francisco 49ers. So I actually have Rocky Sin beating out Womack, and the 49ers will try to hope that Womack comes back around on the practice squad. I have also the 49ers keeping five linebackers. Fred Warner, Devondre Campbell, D. Winters, Demetrius Flanagan Fowles, and Jalen Graham. I think the 49ers are going to have a hard time with this last one as well because Curtis Robinson has been playing well. They like Curtis Robinson. He's made the final 53-man roster in the past, but I do think Jalen Graham presents a ton of upside, and I'm not sure the 49ers are willing to put Jalen Graham out there to be claimed, and I do think they are more of the mindset that Curtis Robinson could bounce back to the practice squad. That also has them cutting their seventh round draft pick Tatum Bethune, but also same thing applies. He could probably come back to the practice squad. When we look at the defensive line, I have them keeping nine total Javon Hargrave. You've got Malik Collins, Kevin Givens, Jordan Elliott on the interior. And then I think that final spot for interior defensive linemen is up for grabs so you have a battle between ty mcgill evan anderson uh, shaquel brown and newcomer nick williams whereas this spot likely would have been for kalia davis but unfortunately he is hurt and he will miss time 
uh, for the regular season. So I actually have T.Y. McGill making the final spot just based on what we've seen in the past and how he continues to be around the football often. Evan Anderson is a guy that is an uh, interesting prospect. Would definitely like to see him come back on the practice squad. And you look at the defensive ends where the 49ers are actually pretty light. You have Nick Bosa, Leonard Floyd, Yitzhak Gross Matos, and Robert Beal Jr. So with these guys, those are your four defensive ends. I would actually think that the 49ers will be scouring the waiver wire for defensive ends that hit the wire and see if they bring someone in uh, because there's just not a lot of depth at that position. And guys like Barrett Garvin are going to go to the practice squad, in my opinion. So that has 24 players on the defensive side. And of course, can't forget special teams, Mitch Wisnowski, Tabor Pepper, and Moody count for three against the roster. So in total, you have 27 players accounted for for the defense and special teams, which leaves 26 players only for the offense. And this is where you have to kind of get creative. So with the offensive line, I have them keeping nine. I have them with Trent Williams, Aaron Banks, Jake Brendel, Dominic Pooney, and Colton McKivitz. Those are going to be your projected starters. You need Jalen Moore as your swing tackle on the left side. You have Nick Sakel, who I do think has earned the roster uh, roster spot. He feels like he will be the Jonathan Feliciano as Feliciano goes to IR with having a knee surgery. So Zakel can rotate in at center, at guard. He could probably play tackle in a pinch, but I do have Zakel making this roster along with Spencer Burford and Chris Hubbard. Uh, that means Zakel beats out Ben Barch. The 49ers do like Ben Barch, but I think they could try to see if he could swing back around to the practice squad. Obviously, that also means they cut Jared Kingston and Drake Nugent as well. I just think based on them being uh, what looks like undersized offensive linemen, you might be able to sneak them back onto the practice squad. So I think that's how you have to go about it. I do think they trust Nick Sakel more than Jarrett Kingston. So Kingston still has a ways to go, but there is upside there. So I think they would want to try to get him onto the practice squad. And when it comes to tight ends, I have them keeping three tight ends. George Kittle, Eric Saubert, and Braden Willis. That means Cameron Latu will be on the outside looking in. I do imagine uh, there could be a chance that another team claims him, considering he was a third-round draft pick. But I think the 49ers are willing to take that chance and try to get him back onto the practice squad. Mason Pline. Jake Tonges, who's played really well uh, throughout this preseason, I do think will be slated for the practice squad. And I do think the three that make it are Kittle, Saubert, Willis. And we have another kind of, this is probably one of the more intense battles of the entire training camp, is the wide receivers. And we do anticipate that Brandon Ayuk will be back along with Debo Samuel, Jawan Jennings, Cowling, and Pierce Saul were draft picks and so it really only leaves one spot up for grabs based on the way that i have built out this roster so with the numbers game being at play that means you have chris conley danny gray trent taylor robbie chosen tay martin ronnie bell and jonte kirkland all competing for that final spot and I do believe that you have to give that current spot to Chris Conley. He's a special teams guy. He's proven to be a guy who can show up in big moments. He's had a great camp. Um, he's not going to be your downfield burner or anything like that. He's just going to be one of those solid veterans who's always supposed to be where he's going to be uh, or should be, I should say. So Chris Conley, I think, gets that sixth spot. And obviously, all those guys, uh, they will have a chance 
to get claimed. Someone could claim Gray. Someone could claim Ronnie Bell. I think Ronnie Bell is the most likely to be claimed. So that's where that's where I think the 49ers have to have a very difficult decision with the numbers of do they keep seven wide receivers or do they keep six? I know the fans are kind of upset with Ronnie Bell's preseason performances so far, but I thought he's had a great camp. And uh, he pre presents a value as a returner. So this is, to me, where it becomes very, very interesting of the numbers game. Do they try to squeeze Ronnie Bell into this roster? Or do they do they probably let him go to the Rams or something like that? That that's really feels like uh, you could see Ronnie Bell in division if he hits waivers. So that's something to keep in mind but just as the numbers break out i have them keeping six and if they need to find room we can talk about where they could find room in a second but hold on so we have running backs the 49ers i do believe are going to keep christian mccaffrey elijah mitchell jordan mason and isaac garendo along with kyle use check which means that's going to put Cody Schrader, Matt Breida, Patrick Taylor, and Keyshawn Vaughn out on waivers. I do expect the 49ers to do whatever they can to bring Cody Schrader back. I would like to see Patrick Taylor on the practice squad, even Matt Breida. Um, but I do think that Schrader just hasn't done enough to uh, you know, justify the 49ers cutting a fourth-round draft pick in Garendo that they traded up for, even though we haven't seen him yet. And so this next position, which is the quarterbacks, this is where you could potentially open up a roster spot for a Ronnie Bell. So that's that's where this, I think, becomes challenging, is how many quarterbacks are the 49ers going to keep? We do know it's going to be Brock Purdy. I think Josh Dobbs has, has won that position. Uh, he started off slow in training camp. But after getting under speed, you can see him. You can see him getting more comfortable within the offense, and he was playing better. So I do think Josh Dobbs is definitely going to make this roster. Also, too, for the simple fact that another team would pick him up in a heartbeat. So you got to keep Dobbs on the roster, and then this is where you can potentially open up a roster spot. But I have the 49ers keeping three. I have them keeping Brandon Allen. I do think they like Allen. I do think that they are confident in his abilities. And I do also believe that they think he would get claimed very quickly as well if he hits waivers. So, but the 49ers could potentially only keep two in Purdy and Dobbs. They could let Allen go, try to bring him back around to the practice squad with Tanner Mordecai, and then you can add a seventh wide receiver spot so that's where I think there are some challenging conversations to be had about this roster and where it ultimately goes from here. But that is my final 53-man roster. And just to do a quick recap, three quarterbacks, Brock Purdy, Josh Dobbs, Brandon Allen, five running backs, McCaffrey, Mitchell, Mason, Garendo, and Juice. Six wide receivers, Brandon Ayuk, Debo, Jawan, Conley, Cowing, and Pierce Saul. Three tight ends, Kittle, Sauber, Willis. Nine offensive linemen, Trent Williams, Banks, Brendel, Pooney, McKivitz. Moore, Zakel, Burford, Hubbard. And that's 26 players on the offensive side of the football. Four defensive ends and Bosa, Floyd, YGM, and Beal. You also have five defensive tackles and Hargrave, Collins, Givens, Elliott, McGill. Five linebackers in Warner, Campbell, Winters, DFF, and Jalen Graham. Six cornerbacks in Ward, Lenore, Yadam, Green, Luter, Rock, Yassin. And four safeties, Brown, Hufanga, Odom, and Malik Mustafa for 24 defensive players. And then you have your three specialists in Moody, Wisnowski, and Tabor Pepper. Let me know what you agree with. Let me know what you disagree with. Who do you think should make the roster? Who should get cut? Let me know in the comments below, and as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more updates.